When Edison invented the light bulb set running on DC or direct current, he set out to establish multiple DC power stations to get rich. But there was a problem that DC power cannot be transferred to long distance due to significant power loss. To solve this problem, he set a reward of $50,000 and approached a new recruit in his company named Nikola Tesla. Tesla solved this problem by designing an AC power system that did not have the power loss like DC system. Edison ridiculed the idea and did not give him the reward. Tesla left Edison and set up his own power company which became really successful. Edison, jealous to his success, started demonstrating that AC power is really dangerous. By electrocuting a number of animals which were shown to be safe for the same power in DC. In fact, he even helped the authorities in designing a new method of executing prisoners, an AC or alternating current electric chair. And this is how the word electrocution was originated. Electro plus execution. Hey everyone, this is Tower Science, simplified science to make you smarter. Everything is made up of atoms and these atoms have electrons spinning around. When these electrons start flowing through something, we call it current. Ampere is the number of electrons flowing through something in one second. One ampere is approximately 6 million trillion electrons in one second. This flow of electrons is what damages the tissue or nervous system when someone is electrocuted. These electrons when enter the body either heat up the tissue or obstruct the electric signals. Like the one that causes heartbeat or tightening the muscle around the current source making it impossible to let go. It is called tetanic contraction. Voltage on the other hand is the force that pushes electrons. Imagine it like this. The water is the electrons and voltage is the slope. The more slant the slope is, more water wants to move. An object's resistance resists how much current can flow through it. The more the resistance, the more voltage you need to push the current. That is why a small cell is not dangerous while an electric socket is. Let's talk about AC-DC. Not the band, but electric current. Direct current is when the voltage is constant between two points. While in alternating current, the voltage fluctuates. The electrons are spit out of the socket and sucked back again, about 50 to 60 times in one second. When electrocuted, this 60 times up and down messes up the heartbeat and causes death. Though there can be many ways like ventricular fibrillation, bradycardia, respiratory arrest, burns, direct injury to vital structures, etc. Direct current is dangerous when it is 2 to 4 times the alternating current. It is to be noted that current above 10 mA can give serious shock and 100 to 200 mA is fatal. It enters the body at point of contact and exits at the nearest point to the ground. Despite knowing how dangerous it is, every year thousands of people die due to electrocution. So regardless of AC or DC, you should always follow the safety guidelines. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, comment and share. And as always, keep learning, keep exploring until you know everything.